Good morning, Muncie Park School. It's Friday morning. It is time for our morning announcements. Are we ready, Thomas? Yes. Good morning, Muncie Park School. Today is Friday, June 12th, 2020. My name is Winnie King Cannon, and I am from the state of second grade class. My name is Caroline King Cannon, and I am from Mrs. Kelly's kindergarten class. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America. America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. We will now hear some important announcements from Mr. Nolan. Thank you very much, Winnie and Caroline. Good morning, Muncie Park School. Boys and girls, teachers and staff, happy Friday to you all. And happy last day of school to all of you. It is a special day because today is our sixth grade procession at Muncie Park. It's also our kindergarten procession and our last day of classes. Monday, don't forget, we're going to have our parade through Manhasset. We're going to begin around 3 p.m. and we look forward to seeing a lot of smiling faces on the parade route. We do want to give a shout out to the last Flipgrid challenge of the school year and those students that participated, and they are. Malini S, Talia M, Julia P, Madison K, Mary P, Brian B, Benjamin J, Teresa P, and Amelia B. Thank you for participating in the Flipgrid Challenge. Boys and girls, today is National Peanut Butter Cookie Day. It is also National Red Rose Day. And this is a nice one. It is National Loving Day. What a great thing to celebrate, National Loving Day. We have our morning words of the day, and they come out of our morning mantra book, and they are as follows. Another great quote from Dr. Seuss, and words for our students, especially our sixth graders, who are going up to the middle school. And it is, you're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way, from Dr. Seuss. Words to live by. Boys and girls, don't forget to show your three R's. Continue to show them every day. Respectful, responsible role model. And don't forget to show your amazing character in your words, your actions, and your attitude. And on behalf of Mr. Altman, myself, the teachers, staff, and faculty, we wish you all a wonderful summer vacation. Take good care. Let the day begin. And I think we're ready for a story. Thomas. Yeah? Where's the story? In the car. Come bring it. Bring the story. The story's coming in off the car. Here it comes. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. Let's see. What do you got? Oh, you got. You Whoa! What story are we reading today? Yeah, this is What Do You Do With a Problem by Kobe Yamada. And this is a really, really nice story. And I think it's a nice story to finish out our school year. Because we did have some problems this school year. And I think we did really well with them. Here we go. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought? I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. 
So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now, I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know they're a secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. The end. And that is our story for today. As I said, there is no Flipgrid challenge. Boys and girls, it has been an honor to do the morning announcements every day, to read to you every day, and to do a Flipgrid challenge. I really enjoyed it. I know Thomas did. And I thank my wife Margaret for being my videographer and helping every day. It was an honor for our family to do this uh, activity every day. So we don't have a Flipgrid challenge, but I do want to wish you all a wonderful summer vacation. Don't forget the three R's. Don't forget to show your amazing character and your words, your actions, your attitude. Make us all proud and have a great summer vacation. Take good care. Let the day begin.